Hello everybody, my name is Austin Bogo and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Well, this American Truck Simulator is a little different. Today, we can see um, other truck drivers as we drive into Canada, like along the roads. This is um, Truckers MP. So, basically, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story on what happened. So, when the update, um, I think it was 1.39, came out, for American Truck Simulator, the Peterbilt mod that I was using, which was Viper's Pete, became incompatible. Well, I mean, that wouldn't be a problem, except every single one of my trucks was that Pete. Um, I had three trucks at the time. So what I did was I DM my friend Farmer John to see if he had any ideas, and um, he said to get Truckers MP. So we're here. I joined a virtual trucking company, which was also recommended by John. The trucking company is called ITC, or International Trucking Community, and it's run by Cargren, and I have had a blast on there. I absolutely love every single time I go out and truck, especially, you know, you can truck with your buddies and, like, arrange convoys. I still haven't done an official convoy, but I am so excited to. So I'll have some links down in the description on how to install Truckers MP and Pro Mods, and also a link to the ITC Discord, so then you can get started, um... And the company because it's an absolutely great company so let's just fire up our truck here all right i'll put my mirror up there and we should probably turn on our headlights and then we should be able to just get going now what i do want to do is i want to fuel up before we go we do have a load planned out for us to go into canada which i'm super excited for i've already been into canada twice just to see kind of what it was like and let me just say it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful. All right, let's see if we can't just fill up right here. Just kind of top off the tank. It was about half full, but I just want to make sure we have enough gas to get, or enough diesel to get all the way into Canada. All right, awesome. We are good to go. Now, I do have $91,000 in my bank account, which is now $90,000 because we just paid for fuel. And I also have three workers working for me. So basically I have glitched out workers. Whenever I um, switched um, and didn't have Viper's Peterbilt anymore, um, my workers decided that they could still work without owning a truck. So technically they don't. I don't have trucks for them to work for, but they're still making me money. So it's a glitch, but I'm making money, so I'm happy. So right now we're in... Oh, uh, Watan Watanachi, something like that. Wata Watachi, Watanachi. I am horrible with names of cities. When when ta Wentachi. I have no clue. It starts with a W and it ends with a Chi. Pretty soon along here, we should be able to see some other truck drivers. I know there was a Kenworth back at that um truck stop, and I guess he left. I was before I started recording. I went and drove over there, just so then we could refuel. And I saw him, and I guess he didn't like me, so he left. So, if you've seen any of my other American Truck Simulator videos, then you'll know I kind of do a thing called a time-lapse talk, where I talk for a little bit, and then I'll do a nice little time-lapse talk for a little bit more, do another time-lapse. So I was thinking I'll probably do the same thing for this, since this is, you know, American Truck Simulator, just with more drivers, or more trucks, and multiplayer, which is absolutely incredible. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be picking up from the sell goods over here. Okay, let's see. So we've got some frozen food going from Win Win Winach Winachchi to Hope, um, Canada. I've been up to Hope, Canada. Actually, I went with Farmer John yesterday, and we went up to Hope, and then we came back down to Seattle, and then um, I came up here to Winachchi, whatever this city is called. All right, so let's see if we can't. Oh, oh, oh! There's another truck driver. He's coming in here. That's what I think is just so cool, is you can see other truck drivers and they come and they pick up loads and stuff. Congratulations, Daniel. You are on my video. You're on YouTube, officially on YouTube. Let's get this bad boy all connected and we should be able to uh, just get going. Now, if you're wondering, if you're in like an area that's um, where you pick up trailers and stuff, there's no collisions. So that guy didn't want to touch me. But if that guy did decide to, um, like, touch me, he couldn't. He just run straight through me. Alright, let's see if we can make this turn here. It's kind of a tight area over here. Okay, we're good. 
All right, now as we get rolling here, I would also like to say a huge thank you to Farmer John for showing me, you know, the ITC Trucking Company and Truckers MP. Another thing he did was he actually got me two DLCs. He got me Colorado and Washington, which is absolutely incredible. Without him, this video would not be possible. So he's kind of like a sponsor-ish. So just a big thank you to him. And more thank yous to people. I'd like to thank JD Farmer for um, trucking with me and also Cargren for making the ITC. It's awesome that he, you know, creates a community. And the community, I think, has like 70 or 80 members in their trucking company. So it's not a small company. It's it's just awesome. Now, the only thing is with um, Truckers MP is I can't really change the time. So right now it's 2.30 in the morning and it's night and you know it's kind of harder to see all the scenery which it's still cool at night to see all the lights but i can't just go sleep and skip today but we can enjoy the night i mean i still like my truck this is also this is the end game um peterbilt 389 with a cat c15 i think it is and an 18 speed full eaton fuller transmission so it's you know the king of the hill and it's it's awesome it's i love this truck so much but since i couldn't get viper spearbilt with um since it's incompatible and you can't really use mods besides pro mods and truckers mp so i just decided to get this peterbilt and um with this truck i've also put uh, a nice paint job i put pinstripes on there so i'll have a picture on screen right now of uh, my truck in daylight and you can see the pinstripes a little bit better but i think this truck just looks awesome and i love driving it all right, well, we should be all pretty much set to go to drive into Canada, so I'll go ahead and put on a time lapse and I'll see you at the border in Canada. coming up to the border let's see trucks keep right up here 
So I'm guessing that's for cars and then trucks are going to the right here. Which I guess this is American Truck Simulator so there isn't really cars. Well, there is technically. If you download Truckers MP then you can actually go to like the truck dealership and buy a car. And you can buy a, a little caravan or a little like camper type deal and pull it around and haul loads with that. I'm hopefully going to try it out one day. All right, let's see, what do we have to do here? I think we just have to pull up to it and then they'll uh, check if we're legal or not. To start board check, press enter. All right, checking my documents. Oh, there we go, the little gate came up. Everything is in order, have a nice journey. Well, thank you, Mr. Is that a border police, border patrol, whatever it's called, border people. We're officially in Canada. Welcome to Canada, everybody. It's nice and beautiful up here. I think it's crazy how people, not even like companies, just people can create mods that are so good that like this resembles what SCS software would do. If SCS software made Canada, this is exactly how it would be. And I mean that's a whole company that that its profession is to create video games and video game DLCs and stuff. So Hope isn't really too far from the border, it's only 30 miles from here where I am right now. But yeah, this is absolutely incredible. And pro mods, they were talking about um, they're gonna add more of Canada. So if I just pull over real fast. If you didn't know, if you're in Truckers MP, you have to stop completely before you can like open menus such as the map and the escape menu and pause menu and stuff. So if we look at the map, this is all they have so far of Canada. So, you know, it's, it's a nice area. They're talking about expanding like up here and they'll add more um, provinces. Provinces? Is it province or providence? I think it's province. And then they'll just add like all of Canada and as more DLCs come out from SCS software, they'll probably like add that. I know right now all you need is um, Oregon and Washington, but they're talking about um, making Idaho a, a DLC that you'll need too. But yeah, they're they're looking into some crazy stuff for the future. All right, well, I think I'll just head to the destination. It's not too far up the road here up to Hope. So I'll see you there. destination here in hope so let's see if we can park this trailer uh, it might be kind of tight up here it's just now starting to rain there's a few um raindrops on the windshield here and back there i was looking at a beautiful lake and i decided to run off the road a little bit and i hit one of those little sticks on the side of the road and now i've got nine damage on my truck it's what you get when you drive in Canada. You try to look at all the beautiful scenery and then you don't pay attention to where you're driving. I wonder if we can kind of drive up on the grass here a little bit. Just tearing up some grass, you know? You know how it is. I'm gonna try and do it from the end cab view. Now I know this is blind side backing, so it's gonna be really, really difficult, but maybe we'll be able to do it. If not, I'll just have to go for a rerun. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to pull up a little bit here. See, the thing about American Truck Simulator is you know, the driving is wide open and you've got, you know, roads for miles and stuff. And then you get to your destination and the place where you have to, you know, drop off your trailer is super, super cramped and tight. This might be good. All right. Yeah, we're getting it lined up here. We're professionals here on the Ostabogo channel and didn't even need the out of cab view. Think we're almost got it. Yep. Awesome. So, oh, we should have used our flashers. I forgot. I always forget my um, hazards whenever I'm backing up a trailer or backing up to a trailer. Awesome. So we are, I told you, we're professionals here on the Osbogo channel. We did an excellent job, which is awesome. Most of the time, it's either late or I do a little bit of damage. But that's awesome. All right. So now that that's over, um, if you did try to join the ITC trucking company, you would have downloaded truck, Trucks Books. There's like a client 
and basically that logs um, your loads and all you do so then they'll show up in a nice little chat in the discord server which I'll show you right now. So here I am on the Discord server. So if you'll see, there's a nice little web hook here and it shows the job delivery, which I just did, which is real miles. So basically there's real miles or race miles. If you go over 81 miles an hour or hit 81 miles an hour, then it's considered race miles. But if you stay under that, then it's real miles. We did 282 miles today. We went from that American city to Hope, which is in um, Canada. And it has all the details like what cargo we hauled and the profit we made, what truck we did, and the rank within the company. So right now I'm fifth in uh, how many miles we've driven. So that's just a cool little thing if you download the truck Trucks Books client and then um, open the game with it. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button down below and comment down below if you want to see more Truckers MP. I should be having some uh, convoys coming up. I'll try to record um, as many convoys as I can and try to get in touch with John and JD Farmer and all the other truck drivers and see if they want to help me record a video. But just thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>